Imagine a bovine so massive it once starved tigers by its sheer presence. And today, that same creature fuels a cutting-edge farming revolution worth over $200 million annually. I'm your AI narrator from Agri360X, and in the next few minutes you'll witness how the gore, Asia's wild dinosaur cattle, has moved from remote jungles into precision-managed ranches supplying gourmet meat, luxury leather, and conservation dividends. We'll visit climate-controlled breeding centers, step into forage research labs, tour pasture-based rewilding ranches in India, and peek inside state-of-the-art processing plants turning hulking bulls into premium steaks. Hit like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more jaw-dropping agri-innovations. Now, let's unlock the secrets of gaur farming. For millennia, the gore, Bos Gorus, roamed South Asia's evergreen forests and grasslands. Bulls tipping the scales at 1-300 kilos, cows at 700 kilos, and horns spanning over 90 centimeters. Once numbering over 100,000 in the wild, heavy hunting and habitat loss cut populations to under 40,000, earning the species an IUCN vulnerable status. In 2010, visionaries in Karnataka, India, launched the first pilot gore ranch. Fenced reserves, 500 HNA of native pasture, double fenced to protect wild herds and ensure genetic purity. Captive breeding, hormone-assisted estrus synchronization, shortened calving intervals from 18 months to 14 months, boosting annual calf output by 30%. Conservation fees, ecotourism safaris and photography permits generate $500,000 annually, funding anti-poaching patrols and community outreach. By 2024, 30 commercial gore operations span India, Thailand, and even Australia, collectively managing over 8,000 head. This shift from endangered wild herds to managed ranches underpins both species' recovery and high-value product markets. Taming such a behemoth demands precise breeding. At the National Gar Genetics Center in Bengaluru, Genomic Insights DNA sequencing of 200 pure gore identifies genes linked to growth and disease resistance, particularly against bovine tuberculosis. Cross-breeding programs. Careful hybridization with domestic cattle produces gore cross steers that reach 350 kg's live weight in 18 months, while retaining up to 85% of the wild gower's robust frame. Artificial insemination, AI. Frozen semen storage from top bulls, scored on growth rate, horn size, docility. Allows ranches worldwide to access elite genetics. Over 5,000 straws shipped in 2023 alone. These advances have slashed juvenile mortality from 25% to 8%, and boosted average daily weight gain from 400 kron to 600 a game changer for a species once deemed unmanageable. A grazing giant needs mountains of forage. Researchers at the ICAR Forage Institute developed a tailor-made feeding regimen. Silage blends, a mix of elephant grass, maize stover, and sweet sorghum chaff ensiled and fed at 8 kg dry matter per adult gaur per day. Protein licks, fortified with urea molasses and tree leaf meals, leukina and gliricidia, supplying 18% crude protein, boosting weight gain by 20%. Precision grazing, GPS fitted collars track herd movement, guiding electric paddocks to fresh pasture every 12 hours, optimizing grass regrowth and minimizing overgrazing. Seasonal forage shortages are offset by hydroponic fodder systems. A single 100 mepatos indoor bay produces 1 ton 200 kilos of fresh greens weekly, enough for 15 young bulls, reducing reliance on monsoon-dependent pastures. Maintaining the health of an apex bovine requires rigorous protocols. 1. Disease surveillance. Monthly blood sampling for tuberculosis, brucellosis, and foot and mouth disease. Rapid PCR tests cut outbreak response times to under 24 hours. 2. Vaccination regimens. Annual booster shots include a Gaur-specific clostridial vaccine, reducing fatal incidences by 90%. 3. Enrichment and welfare. Social herds mirror wild structures, with mature bulls separated for safety, while mixed cow-calf groups enjoy riverbanks and shaded corridors. Behavioral studies show stress-related cortisol levels drop 40% when herds roam at least 5 hayatiha per individual. 4. Transport and handling. Low-stress loading ramps and 8-hour rest stops ensure welfare scores above 90-100, meeting global animal care certified standards. Ethical ranching labels, conservation assured, and heritage bovine appeal to eco-conscious consumers, commanding 15-20% to 20 price premiums. 
Gore meat, known as gar beef, is prized for its lean, game-rich flavor. Here's how ranches process these giants. 1. Optimal harvest window. Bulls reach 650 kilolos live weight at 30 months, cows at 500 kilolos. Harvest is timed in a 48-hour window to ensure uniform carcass quality. 2. Humane slaughter. Stunning with captive bolt pistols under the supervision of a veterinary officer ensures immediate loss of consciousness. Meat ethics boards monitor the process to maintain consciousness time, 2 seconds. 3. Carcass handling. A 60% dress-out ratio yields 390 lulos of dress weight per bull. Meat is dry-aged in controlled chambers, 2 to gas, 85% humidity, for 14 days, unlocking deep umami notes. 4. Value-added products. Beyond steaks, gore collagen is extracted to craft premium gelatin for haute patisserie, while tallow is rendered into sustainable biodiesel, a $5 million niche byproduct market. Processing plants adhere to HACCP and Global GAP standards, testing every 1,000 kg batch for microbial loads, 104 CFUG, and ensuring traceability from farm to fork. Gower beef occupies a unique gastronomic niche. Nutritional profile, per 100 drones, O calories, 110 kcal, O protein, 27 drone, 54%, DV, O fat, 1.8 drones, 0.5%, DV, O iron, 4.2 milligons, 23%, DV, O omega-3, 0.3 G. Its low fat and high iron make it a sought-after super beef in health-conscious markets. In India's northeast, tribal communities prize gore stew as a ceremonial dish, while in Bangkok's Michelin star kitchens, chefs sear thin medallions and serve them with wild mushroom ragu at $120 per tasting portion. Luxury brands package dry-aged gore filet in handcrafted wooden boxes, retailing at $200 kilos, five times premium wagyu prices. High-end conservation beef dinners raise funds for on-farm species protection, blending haute cuisine with storytelling. Gower ranching, though niche, packs strong returns. Average ranch size, 1,000 taisen hay with stocking density of 5 gaur har ha, 5,000 head. Annual calving rate, 70%, yielding 3,500 calves. Survival to market, weight, 92%, delivering 3,220 slaughter animals. Meat revenue, 3 220 heads, x 390 kilos dress, x 15 kilos eels, 18.8 million dollars. Byproduct sales, collagen and tallow generate 1.2 million dollars. Ecotourism and conservation fees, 2 million dollars from safari tours and photo permit sales. Total annual revenue per ranch, 22 million dollars. With operating costs at 12 million dollars, net profit stands at 10 million dollars an ROI of 20% on initial infrastructure investments, $50 million. Global production remains small, 25,000 tons of gore beef in 2023, but its premium pricing and conservation model fuel rapid expansion. Major importers include Japan, Singapore and the EU, where exotic game segments grew 15% year over year in 2023. Gower ranching hinges on a virtuous cycle of profit and protection. Habitat preservation. Ranchers set aside 30% of land as natural corridors, maintaining biodiversity and local water tables. Post-ranch surveys show wild gar sightings up 25% over five years. Community partnerships. Local villages earn wages as wildlife guides and veterinary aides. Over 1-200 families benefit across India's Western Ghats. Anti-poaching collaboration. Paid ranger teams patrol perimeters, reducing poaching incidents by 80%. Fines and permits funnel back to community-run health clinics and schools. Carbon and ecosystem services. Native grassland restoration sequesters 2,000 tons CO2e annually per ranch. Carbon credit sales bring $500,000 into conservation funds. This model transforms the gaur from endangered forest dweller into a flagship species for sustainable agriculture, where every premium stake supports wild herds and human livelihoods. Scene 10. Future Frontiers. Innovation on the horizon. Gaur Farming's next chapters. Leverage tech and biotech. CRISPR. Gene editing. Trials at the National Institute of Animal Biotechnology aim to enhance disease resistance, 
reducing TB incidence by 40% in pilot herds. Precision pasture robotics, solar-powered grass drones, mowing and reseeding patches ensure uniform forage quality across 1,000 Ahia ranches. Blockchain traceability. Every stake gets a scannable NFT tag linking to GPS pasture maps, breeding line data, and carbon offset records, building consumer trust and commanding 10% higher retail prices. Lab-grown gore cells. Cultured meat startups in Singapore are prototyping gore-only cell lines to offer cruelty-free game products by 2026, projected to capture 5% of the EU exotic meat market at $300 kilos. These innovations promise to make gar farming more efficient, transparent, and aligned with consumer ethics, pushing this ancient species into the forefront of 21st century agribusiness. From misty jungles to solar-lit ranches, the gower's journey embodies resilience, innovation, and the power of sustainable agriculture. As you savor every bite of that premium steak or marvel at its gleaming horn crafts, remember it's more than food. It's conservation, community, and cutting-edge science on your plate. Now, we turn to you. If you could champion one initiative, be it expanded habitat corridors, community training programs, or blockchain traceability, which would you choose to secure the Gore's future? Share your thoughts below. Thank you for watching Agri360X, your front row seat to the hidden forces shaping our food and our planet. If this deep dive into gore farming inspired you, smash that like, hit subscribe, and ring the bell. We post Monday Friday at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. with weekend specials at noon. Until next time, stay curious, and keep cultivating tomorrow's breakthroughs.